So before the movie Inside Out started, there was a new Disney Pixar short film titled Lava. So here's my quick review on it. Lava is about this volcano that is singing about how he's alone, how he's trying to find the one. It's really just this one long Hawaiian song that really makes this short film, you know, from it begins, the song starts to the very end. So it is one song. The song is what drives the short film. And I gotta say that I really think Lava is a really beautiful Disney picture our animated short film. The Hawaiian song sounded so beautiful. The animation is amazing, so clear, so beautiful, so crisp. The details in the animation just look wonderful. And I just loved how this one song is telling the story on this Lava's perspective and how he doesn't want to be alone. It gave me the feels personally. It's very beautiful. I love Lava. I think it's really great. And I'm going to give Lava, the Disney Pixar short film, an A. So now let's get to my review for Inside Out. So emotions are what drive us humans. And I want to introduce you guys to my emotions. Meet my emotion, joy. Sadness. Yeah. Anger. Why do they always in the car? Why do they always in the car? Fear. And disgust. Oh my gosh. Look at her butt. Yeah, aren't emotions interesting? Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review the Disney Pixar film Inside Out. So Inside Out tells the story of this 11 year old girl named Riley who has to deal with the big move and she just doesn't know how to take it so she has all of these emotions. I have the poster to present it. You got yourself joy, sadness, anger, fear and disgust. All of these emotions are what control Riley of how she feels. So when sadness ruins one of Riley's memories, joy and sadness must head back to headquarters because without joy, Riley can't be happy. So going into Inside Out, I was so excited. Excited. Like, my expectations were through the roof. I could not wait to sit in the theater and watch this movie because I am a huge Pixar fan. I love Pixar. It's my number one favorite animation studio of all time. And I know some people feel like Pixar hasn't been up to their game ever since Toy Story 3, in which... I am in the minority because I completely disagree. I felt like Pixar never left. Yes, they may not be as good as the other ones, but that doesn't make them bad. They're just good movies. If they're good movies, I'm happy. Cars 2, I actually really enjoyed that movie. Brave, I really enjoyed that movie as well, and I think it's pretty underrated, and I feel like if it wasn't Pixar, it probably would have gotten more appreciation. Monsters University, I love that movie. That's my favorite animated movie of the year 2013. Obviously with me, Pixar has always still been Pixar, to be honest. But with an idea like this about emotions and how it controls you, it just looked very intriguing and I just couldn't wait to experience this imagination that Pixar has to offer and now that I've seen Inside Out it's great it is your magical Pixar movie that you would hope to expect Inside Out is one of the most original ideas Pixar has ever come up with it might even be the most original Pixar idea Ever. You have Amy Poehler as Joy, uh, Phyllis Smith as Sadness, Louis Black as Anger, Bill Hader as Fear, and Mindy Kaling as Disgust. The voices and these characters are so 
fantastic. Each of these actors lend their voices to characters and give them such energetic personalities. And I really love how the colors present each of these characters. Like, of course, anger is red because he's anger and sadness is blue with joy being yellow, fear being purple, and disgust being green. I loved how Pixar did that. That was just so amazing for them to do. So I think they did a pitch perfect job with the voice casting behind it. It flows so well and even though these are actors that have their same voice, you don't see these actors in the studio. When you see Joy, you don't see Amy Poehler. You actually see the character Joy. But that's not the only thing that's great. The animation, oh my goodness. Some of the best animation I've seen in a very, very long time. It looks beautiful. It's so colorful. It's so vivid. Just looking at it, it's pure eye candy. The amount of details and the background. The storyline to this movie is really good because it really dives real deep into how emotions control you because, you know, you're going to have days where you just don't know how to control your emotions. You just don't know how to feel. So I'm sure in one way or another, this movie really does have something to relate to the audience. This is something that's in a family animated movie and how they're able to deal with some of the dark themes because this film does get pretty dark, mainly I would say towards in the final like 30 to 25 minutes of the movie. But yeah, this film does dig real deep and it's kind of a nice little lesson for the younger kids to learn. I don't know if like the young, young, young kids, like five-year-olds would probably understand the movie, but maybe like older kids, like maybe 10 or nine years old, you know, they could kind of get an idea of how all these emotions work. Michael Giacchino, he proves once again that he can make a beautiful score. The score he did for Up is beautiful. To this day, that is still one of the most uplifting, most touching scores I've ever heard. And Michael Giacchino brings back that magic into Inside Out. His score flows so well with the scenes, whether there's a touching scene or a happy scene or a cute scene happening. It just flows so nicely for the tone and the vibe that Inside Out brings. It's one big adventure just inside your own head. The adventure in this movie is inside the head of a little girl. Wow! And I really did like how they focused on sadness and joy. And then, yes, there were a few scenes where I actually did get a little watery-eyed. I don't want to say I shed a tear, but there were a few scenes, like in the final 30 minutes to 25 minutes, where my eyes they were starting to get watery because it's so beautiful. You know, it's Pixar giving you the feels. Now, my only flaws with Inside Out is that sadness for like maybe the first 20 minutes of the movie, I thought she was starting to really get on my nerves. As the movie is progressing, I was really connecting with Sadness and I was caring about her more, but for like the good first 20 minutes of the movie, I really was not liking Sadness. This character that tags along with joy and sadness, I'm not gonna really reveal the character. I wasn't too sure how to really feel about the character when he was introduced. I thought he was kind of annoying and I didn't see any purpose for him to tag along with joy and sadness, but I will say that, just like with Sadness, as it progressed, I really started to care about this character. There's a scene before this one emotional moment everyone is talking about that did feel rushed. And then the final problem I did have with Inside Out is that I did feel like fear and disgust they were a little underused as characters because of course with joy and sadness being separated from them every time they cut to them it's anger that's stealing the scenes because anger is a really angry and funny character and I really enjoy seeing anger but whenever you cut to them it really feels like fear and disgust they're really sidelined by anger overall you guys 
Inside Out is a really great movie. It really does show what Pixar is all about. It's not one of my favorite movies from Pixar, but it's most certainly a damn great movie with an original idea, great voicing, great animation, a great story, and a great exploration on how our emotions control us. So I'm going to give Inside Out three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Inside Out. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.